In these problems, we are factoring some pretty long looking polynomials with this unusual technique called grouping. And if you haven't seen grouping before, this can be confusing at first, and it can be hard to see that it applies by just looking at the polynomial. So I want to point out that in these problems from Alex, what they're typically asking you to do is factor out something from this first pair, and then factor out something from the second pair, and then I'll show you what to do in terms of regrouping them after that. So let's look at these first two terms here. What can I factor out that they have in common? It looks like a 5 for a number and a y squared. So let's factor out 5y squared from that first two term chunk here. Uh, 25 divided by 5 is 5, and y cubed divided by y squared is y. So that leaves a 5y. And then negative 10y squared, so that'd be a negative 2. Yeah, just a negative 2. OK, so I factored 5y squared out of this first two terms. Now I've got a plus sign here, so I'll put that in. And I've got 10y minus 4. Looks like the only thing I can factor out of there is a 2. That would leave 5y, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Aha! So look what happened here. In the parentheses, I've got the same thing. 5y minus 2, 5y minus 2. If that's the case, you can grab these two guys and put them in another set of parentheses. So 5y squared plus 2, and then multiply it by 5y minus 2. So that's the regrouping. The way you can think about this, if you were going to multiply these, you'd multiply the first term by all of this, by both of those terms, and then you'd multiply the second term by all of that. And that's really what this says up here, 5y squared times that thing in the parentheses plus 2 times that thing in the parentheses. So this is sort of a way to just regroup um, uh, to show the distribution in a different way. That might be a little confusing. Let's try another one for practice. Again, with these Alex problems, they're going to help you out by making the first two terms factorable together and the second two terms factorable together. So let's try that. On these first two terms, I think all I can take out is an x squared. So we'll do that. So x cubed divided by x squared would be x. And negative 4x squared divided by x squared would just be negative 4. And we have a plus sign. And let's see, it looks like I can pull a 3 out of all of that. So 3 on the outside of the parentheses, that leaves x and minus 4. And there, it happened again. I got the same thing in the parentheses. When I do that, we're going to put these two guys together in a parentheses and multiply it by that guy. So we get x squared plus 3 times x minus 4. That is how to do factoring by grouping.